Latest Lao Jose Biro, the inventor of the ballpoint pen, is being honored with a Google Doodle on what would have been his 117th birthday. Biro presented the first prototype of the ballpoint pen at the Budapest International Fair in 1931, later patenting his invention in 1938. To this day, the ballpoint pen is still referred to as the Biro in several countries, Google says. Today we celebrate Biro and his relentless, forward-thinking spirit on the 117th anniversary of his birth. Here's what you need to know about Biro. 1. He was born in Hungary and was a journalist. Late Slau Jose Biro was born September 29, 1899, in Budapest, Hungary, to a Jewish family. He worked as journalist, and it was during that time that he came up with the idea for a way to improve the fountain pen, according to the National Inventors Hall of Fame. It got me thinking how this process could be simplified right down to the level of an ordinary pen, Byro said, according to the Telegraph.2. He invented the ballpoint pen with his brother, who was a chemist. Byro enlisted the help of his brother, Georgi, a chemist, to invent the ballpoint pen. He tried to use newspaper ink inside the pen, but it was too thick. Needing a way to combine the qualities of both inks, Biro worked to perfect the design, according to the National Inventors Hall of Fame. It consisted of a ball that freely rotated in the socket. Moving the pen across the page made the ball rotate, where it picked up ink from the reservoir and applied it to the page. The Biro pen was the first successful ballpoint writing instrument. 3. He fled to Argentina from Nazi-occupied Hungary and sold 30,000 pens to the Royal Air Force during World War I. I Biro did not make a fortune from the ballpoint pen, and used most of his proceeds to help his family escape to Argentina from Nazi-occupied Hungary during World War II. His invention became a helpful tool during the war, as more than 30,000 of the pens were sold to Britain's Royal Air Force because they were able to be used at high altitudes, unlike other fountain pens, according to the Telegraph.